The government and people of Borno State have a mourning and counting your losses following the suicide bomb attack in Gwoza that claimed at least 18 lives. Nigerian security forces say they are currently working round the clock to unravel the mystery behind the suicide attacks. Although no group has claimed responsibility of these attacks, Nigerians are hoping that this incident doesn't take the country back to the dark days of insurgency. A wedding and a funeral for those killed there, as well as a hospital where the targets of last weekend bombings in Goza in southern Brno. At least 18 people are believed to have been killed and 30 injured in the three deadly blasts thought to have been carried out by female suicide bombers. President Bola Tinubu condemned the attacks, calling them desperate acts of terror. He vowed to turn action against those responsible for the killings in the town of Goza and insisted that the incident had not undermined recent gains made against jihadists. No one has admitted to carrying out the attacks, but Nigeria's center at Islamic State West Africa province, Iswap insurgents, have previously claimed deadly bombings in Brno. In the last four months, attackers have twice targeted people through suicide and improvised explosive devices in Brno State. Borno State has been at the center of a 15-year insurgency by Boko Haram Islamist militants, which has displaced more than 2 million people and killed more than 40,000. Boko Haram gained international prominence in April 2014 when it kidnapped more than 270 schoolgirls from the Chibok town, also in Borno State. Shortly after the kidnappings, the group carried out an attack in June and used a forced female suicide bomber. This was only three years after it deployed its forced male suicide bomber. Since then, there have been speculations that some of the female suicide bombers may be the missing Chibok schoolgirls. A study found that Boko Haram has utilized more women as suicide bombers than any other group in history. Recent numbers suggest that over half of all suicide bombers used by Boko Haram are female. Many suggest that their mode of dressing, usually in hijab, are covering from the head to the feet, offers adequate means for hiding explosives. Goza was seized by Boko Haram in 2014 and taken back by the Nigerian forces in 2015. But the group has since continued to carry out attacks and kidnappings near the town. The Goza suicide attacks has reignited suspicions that jihadist groups may be trying to reinvent themselves and show that they still have the capacity to do damage. Last November, 20 people were killed by Boko Haram insurgents while returning from a funeral service in neighboring Yobe State. The attack happened the day after militants killed 17 people in a raid on Guru Kayeya village after villagers refused to pay a so-called harvest tax. Police said, Nigeria's security forces are now on high alert as the search for those who planned the attacks continues.